I chose, this is a quote that I made myself. Is it? Mm -hmm. Terrific. Um, let God plan the future. Let Jesus forgive the past. My job is to pray. Because I've done so much worrying about the future. I do so much worrying and I I used to live in the past. I used to my mind was always in the past and things that happened. I just have to learn that God is in control. And he will do the planning, things are gonna happen his way anyway. So I might as well stop worrying about what I'm gonna do. 10 years from now or next year or so you you feel that that's that's kind of a release of some responsibility yeah. and and gives you some peace of mind that you give didn't me, have give me something to focus on I mean just focusing on prayer instead of worrying so it's an action that you can take instead of worrying yes it's right yes you know I think I think a lot of us could share that um, that same idea that that we've all worried about something and if you decide to take an action sometimes that makes you feel a lot better than worrying whether mm -hmm. that action is yeah. prayer or washing the dishes or mm -hmm. I don't know what and how do you how do you like what you've done so far I like it I like pink yellow and purple I've always liked pink yellow and purple together I love your zigzag purple. And we used to have these um, you get the plastic Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I would take them all and mix, mix, mix match the colors oh, sure. of the Easter yes, eggs. Yes. And I, I loved yellow and purple. I thought that was so cool. Uh, a creative girl from the start. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Well, thank you. Thanks. Great job. Thank you. Very nice. Mine is a work in progress. Um, I took inspiration from Jacob, Abraham, Camille, Pissarro, and it's called, this uh, inspiration was called Sunlight on the Road Pontois, and it's an oil on canvas. And so I'm trying to take inspiration from that, and um, this is my first impressionistic painting. So uh, I'm really t um, learning um, how to mix colors and blend colors. This is my um, goal for this painting, is to um, perfect my uh, blending of the paints. And I also took inspiration from Lori's picture with her water. Um, and so uh, I made grass with very multiple colors. All the colors that are on here are in the grass. So, um, and also I do think that this Jacob, Abraham, Camille, Pissarro uh, did kind of try to blend all his colors that he used in his grass scene also. So it's a work in progress and I think it's going to take me uh, at least another couple sessions to finish. So I um, got my inspiration from Van Gogh. He had a picture with a tree with like a lot of orange and gray colors. The tree wasn't um, typical, a typical tree. So I chose this one. I also chose a tree because a tree was one of the first paintings I ever did back in elementary school. And so um, my art teacher actually had us put a blob on our canvas and blow through a straw to get all the uh, limbs and the tree limbs. Well, I went home to um, recreate it and I accidentally sucked paint <laughs> up in the straw. I mean, this is when I was very young, but I don't know. I, I chose the tree because it was more simple. It was. Um, you know, easy to complete in this time session, and it was one of the first paintings that I ever did. I, earned, I learned how to not eat paint. Yeah. So. I love a little piece, very delicate and very sensitive, and, and the colors that you combined in that ground and the tree are just beautiful. Thank you. 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 Thank you
wonderful. Oh, I love her awesome. sky behind the yeah. She's She does. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. You so well, you need to well. paint more. <laughs>what your quote is. Life is a journey in which we all must choose how to dance. Whether we waltz or waddle, it's worth the chance. Aww, <laughs> oh, that's You're so poetic. Uh, so we've got a little humor and a little poetry. Okay. What appealed to you about that? That's part of my creativity and it helps me on my journey daily. My humor and my my rainbow colors. It's a very upbeat piece. Very very cheerful. Really nice. So that's something that's something that you know just kind of maybe helps you with daily struggles that can sometimes get you down. It, it has helped me with big struggles, and it is every day. You know, yeah. I do use my humor as a coping skill, mm -hmm. although some don't appreciate it, but <laughs> I do. My words, um, I believe that's part of my art, my creativity, expressing myself through my words mm -hmm. and the art. Mm -hmm. And you have said that a creative outlet is really important to you. And so what are some of the things that you do as, as a creative person? Well, I use my creativity to help other people. Um, drama. I'm in the Stars of Light. I, they've been my family for over 20 years. We all have gone through difficult roads together, but our journey always seems to lead on one road. And um, my message is to never give up hope. You're never alone, and keep going. Well, it was, <laughs> I switched so many times from when I started. And I guess because of the vast amount of water and everything, and I think uh, the stork is kind of lonely. It's like sometimes, in life you feel like you're all alone and, and you're surrounded by all kinds of stuff in your life and, and um, so yeah sometimes you just sometimes we're all the store yeah exactly <laughs> yeah yeah don't you think she really captured the idea of the impressionists with her water yeah, yeah. yeah. with seeing the brush strokes and the sh and the choppy so motion yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it's kind of the, co the color of water lilies. But you know, yeah. 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 I, I, that's what I thought of when I saw it was the painting water lilies. That's right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. A beautiful job. Oh, Linda. thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I feel like it's more of the Impressionist, and I'm calling it from the other shore. So it's like somebody standing across the lake, looking across the shore, and seeing that there's, you know, greenery and a house and sand and the water. Yeah, see, see. And what, what, I agree that this is a successful piece. What do you think makes it successful? I think the blending I did. And I used a couple different techniques. I used the palette knife for the tap, mm -hmm. and then I used just a regular brush, the sponge yeah. brush. Well, it's nicely done. Very clear foreground, mid-ground, background. Nicely divided canvas. Yeah. I think both of your pieces are interesting, and even though we're only talking about one, I mean, you can certainly peer over there and see the tree of, hey, it's not the tree of knowledge, it's the tree of, I don't know what you would call it, but but anyway, it's the tree of cool. So <laughs> you did two nice pieces. So how did you begin on this painting? Um, I began with the horse, and then put the ocean behind it and the sun. And I didn't want it 
all plain black and I I like to use deep blue as highlight on top of black. Oh yeah. And then the, I like it when it's from when you're standing from like 20 feet away. I just I just like it better that way. I think it's nice yeah. close up and far away. One of the things that you did compositionally that I think is really cool. I don't know whether you did it on purpose or not, but you have this big wave mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. of the ocean, and then you also have the lines of the horse's tail. Right in the tail like that. tucked right inside it, and it's. It really makes a cool focal point. And I'm proud of you that you worked so hard to get some of the definition on the musculature mm -hmm. and the, um, the bone structure of the horse, because it didn't yeah. start out that way, and it right. looks very cool. Did Thank a great you. Great job. Thank you. And so I uh, decided to do kind of a whole water fluidity type art thing. Um, my quote is hope as an anchor from the Bible in Hebrews. And so it goes as with the water theme as an anchor. So what it means to me is um, when you're down, there's always hope. And when you're happy, there's more joy because you know there's always hope. So that's what I came up with. And the coral theme seems to go with the, the water. Um, Lori mentioned that it looked like a pink pearl, I think she said. So I'm kind of going with that or flamingo-ish color. Or, so I decided on the colors, it's a little out of my comfort zone, but I went with the kind of coral corals and pinks and uh, enjoyed the, the whole activity working with um, everybody that's here. And so it's kind of helping me in my recovery to um, be, express my creative side and be around people that are expressing their creative side as well. first started painting many, many years ago, the Impressionist was where it was at as far as I was concerned. So I did Impressionism really, really young. What I liked with this one is I wanted to use more of a straight edge squared off brush. And then I've also been teaching myself palette knife, so I was able to try different things with the palette knife on this one. And then I was also able this time to try blending directly on the canvas which I really found I really like doing. So <laughs> it really saves on your palette mm. and using it. And that's all I got to say. <laughs> I love the way your brown palette, these are the palette knife lines mm -hmm. that she made that were, that were down here, these brown and, and green and yellow ones. But I love the way they cover your foreground and then also in these two trees, which are really important mm -hmm. parts of your composition, that that is repeated and it's a nice way those three things really pull the composition together. It's a lovely piece. Thank you. It really is. I think you did great. Yeah. All right, so this was my inspiration. I picked this because um, water and nature, mountains, trees, uh, that is just for me, it's very serene and peaceful. Um, it's basically my happy place. And first time I, I went to um, the Smoky Mountains, it was like being at home. I instantly felt at home and at peace. Um, so. And so this image connects you to that, mm -hmm. to memories of the Smoky Mountains. Mm -hmm. Wow! Oh, yeah. Well, I love I love your bright colors. I can I can Thanks. see you know you're inspired by the bright colors on on mm -hmm. that painting. But I think you're doing great. And like I said before, you have these wonderful little trees, and I hope that they kind of spread and populate more of that green space <laughs> because those would be in the Smoky Mountains. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not an artist. This is not my forte. Carissa you know, told me about it last night, and I was like, "Cool, I'll do it. I'll go try." That sounds and you like know fun. That's very so few of us are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's so good that you came out and tried it and, yeah. and got out of you. I think a number of you have gotten out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. in these past 
to class periods either with the technique or with the paint or even with doing art at all. And <laughs> that's good. It's such a it's such a good growth experience. And I think you've got a great start. And your little trees are charming. They're wonderful. So thank you. Yeah, I had fun. Thank you. started out as something else and then when I uh, covered it up it ended up with that. It was to, to ended up totally different. And so one of the things that I think is a strength of this piece is is your brushwork and you have this very carefully and very um, fluid brushwork on it that I think makes it quite beautiful. And again, and this, and this is another one that I think is really has a, a peaceful kind of affect to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like the way she's got the gray and mm -hmm. blue. Yeah, yeah, because blues can get pretty sweet without that. I, it seems like every time I try that, I kind of muddy things. Hurt, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, Agreed. don't look too close. <laughs> Agreed. Well, nicely done. We're so glad you're here. Thank you. Angie. Yes. You have just really gotten into the design of this tissue paper. It's looking gorgeous. Yes, it is. Yeah. At first, yes. I wasn't. At first, I wasn't sure when I was doing it, but well, you took yeah. a chance. Yes. Uh, so that that is lovely. But and in life, you have to take chances. My quote is, I have decided to be happy because it's good for my health, but I'm also going to add to that, and it is good for my family. Um, I have been unhappy for about two years now with my depression, and it affects my family. So it makes things really hard and difficult every day, and so that's just trying to make it through day by day. Wow. Wow. Like a yeah. monster with like a fire background. Is that supposed to be the devil? It's just a monster. Oh. I really didn't have no idea. Yeah. I like horror movies and science fiction and stuff like that. So is this is this a character that you've drawn before? No. Is it is it one that you've made up or one that you've seen? Just uh, one I thought of in my head. It's very cool. I just drew Getting it job. with a pencil, and then I brought it here and painted it. Yeah, I love the way the yellow in his face ties into the yellow in the background. That's a nice way to to unify a composition. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Thank I you. Like, I like the whole background: the yellow and the red and the white in the background. Mm -hmm. and, I was trying to make it look like fire, but I don't know if it really came out like that. No, I'm sorry. I don't know if it looks like fire. I think yeah. the more it stands out. Maybe you, can't even, maybe you can't even answer this. I don't know. But what draws you to, uh, to portray skulls and monsters and faces like this? Because I remember your work from two years ago, and it seems to be a theme in your work. I mean, what it... What it I just like scary movies and stuff like that. So it's you know? really driven from movies. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. We get uh -huh. our we get our inspiration in different places. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. To boldly go where no one ha no man has gone before. That's always been a very big part of my life. You know, it's a part of Star Trek. Um, it's also, Star Trek got it from uh, Christopher Columbus. Um, but why it's why I chose it wasn't because I was portraying Star Trek in this way. Actually, why I put it down there was, I think as um, people with mental illness, our journeys may take places where no one has gone before. New, um, we have to go to places where the most people, most I hate to use the word, but most normal people don't go. We have it, and because of if we want to get better and have recovery, we have to go to those places that most people don't go. So to boldly go where no man has gone before is a lifestyle. We have to do it. We have to build new skills. We have to 
take new meds maybe and expand the charters of what we can do and what we can achieve. So we have to have the spirit, if we're mentally ill, we have to have the spirit of going where no, one, no man has gone before to boldly go.